In this clip, we're going to talk about the proper service procedure to retrofit your vehicle's air conditioning system from R12 to 134A and recharge the system. In this step, we're going to talk about the proper method for locating your vehicle's high side service port and installing the retrofit fitting. Your high side service port on this particular vehicle happens to be located right here. It's a nice convenient location. It's right out in the open. How you determine what the high side service port is, is it will be located between the compressor and the condenser in the front of the engine. Now, just because it's located between here geographically doesn't indicate that it's the high side service port. What you want to do is follow the line from the back of the compressor, the actual outlet, all the way around to the condenser. The service port will be located in that line somewhere. What you'll do then is take and unscrew the cap and discard it. This cap will no longer work for the system. Once you remove and discard the factory fitting, you're going to want to take and clean this thread surface up so your sealing and locking compound will work correctly. I like to use rubbing alcohol for this. Just take and clean the threads up on there. If the threads have been extremely corroded, if somebody had removed the cap at one point in time and lost it and left it exposed to the atmosphere, you may have to use a wire brush to clean off the corrosion. If you don't, your thread sealant will not perform correctly. Once you have the threads clean, you can take and install your high side service fitting. As you can see down inside the fitting, there's some pink goo and an O-ring. The O-ring there is for sealing purposes. The pink goo is the thread locking compound. We're going to take and slip it over the high side service port. We're going to screw it down hand tight. Once you have it hand tight, you can take and torque it with a wrench. Now, being the way this line is, that it's not hard mounted on a stable component, you can see it flexes. In order to avoid damaging the line, you're going to want to hold on to it while you're tightening it. And there you go. Once this fitting is installed and the thread locking and sealing compound is cured, it is a permanent fitting. You are not able to remove that again. If you attempt it, it will damage either this fitting or snap the factory fitting off of the line. That is the proper way to locate your high side service port and install your retrofit adapter.